What up, it's your girl Mena. In this video, we are going to be trying out the LYS clean black owned beauty brand that is new at Sephora. I bought these on my own and I just cannot wait to see which color is mine and what it's all about, okay? So we've got three different colors. We have DPP4, DPN4, and DPP1. We're gonna swatch all of them. I know by now you've watched several videos, so you're probably already aware of what this brand is about, but let me pull up some information to to share with you. This is called a triple fix clean foundation with hyaluronic acid. Okay, that's hydrating. Oh, you know how I feel about hydrating. Oh gosh, okay, it's got hydration in it. Okay, fantastic. I'm gonna use a mattifying primer because of that because I don't wanna be that hydrating. But we're gonna swatch first. Let's swatch and then I'll put the primer on. I we already know it's gonna be dewy so we don't need to necessarily see the dewiness on my face per se. Okay, okay. It's a skincare infused serum with buildable light to medium coverage in an array of shades. It says the finish is natural. It's got ashwagandha, it's a powerful herb that combats skin stress and visible aging signs. Wow, turmeric, which provides antioxidant protection, visibly brightens and even and soothes skin and hyaluronic acid for intensive hydration. Clean at Sephora. Here we have DPP-1. I like how it has a pump. Ooh. Oh no. Oh, it looks so dark on my finger. Okay, I think DPP-1 is is my color. Oh yeah, that has to be my color. Okay, but I'm gonna show you the others just in case. I did the shade match and I got a few just to be sure. This is DPP4 and I didn't get the primer because I saw how Andrea Renee was struggling with it. I ain't doing it. I just ain't gonna do it, you know? Ooh, this is a nice red deep foundation. Obviously not my color. That is DPP4. And then this is DPN4. Ooh, yeah, this is neutral. So DPN4 goes before DPP4 for sure. DPN4 is obviously lighter. It is neutral. It is not my shade color at all. I'm obviously gonna match better with DPP1. Hello. I think it's awesome that Tisha used to be a makeup artist. I think she, yeah, she worked at MAC and she also worked for another brand I can't recall. And now she's got her brand in Sephora. That's awesome. That just goes to show that any of us with hard work could also be in the same place. Like, could you imagine? I also got a few of the other products. I have the deep bronzer, this is the Ambition Medium Tan and Blush. So we're gonna use all these, okay? I think that's just dope. Okay, so like I said, I'm gonna prime because we ain't playing these games. I just don't wanna be wicked juicy looking today. But of course, if you like to have hydration, if your skin is dry, if you just enjoy that hydrated look, then feel free to apply this right after your skincare. So I've done my skincare already. I've got my SPF on. And honestly, you could just go right in with this if you wanted to remain really dewy. I'm using the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Primer because this is a wicked mat and that is what I want right now. I ain't trying to be mad, juicy looking, you know what I'm saying? But I could imagine that if I love this and it's winter time, my skin is feeling really dry, then I might just wear it like by, by itself. Let me just use my fan to get this to really dry down quickly. Ooh. That is very dry. With the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Primer, like you saw, I was patting it. Don't be rubbing, it'll start to crumble up on you. And we're using again DPP1. I'm putting on the back of my hand. That's what I prefer to do. I see that product coming around with the clear handheld situation. That's cute, but again, I'm a former makeup artist. So I'm used to putting things in the back of my hand after I would clean it with alcohol, of course. Once the product is warmed up, it really does work a lot better. It works into the skin a whole lot better. All right, I am gonna use my NYX foundation brush because this is a liquid. I don't think it's as thick as the Huda foundation, but we gonna find out, are we not? Okay, yeah, already it's not, I can tell. Okay, yeah, this is my color. Oh, but it does feel a little bit thick, but oh my God, um, this is a little bit thick. <laughs> not like the Huda one, but it's, it's thicker than I expected. It's looking really red on the camera and in person, but because this is my undertone, it's fine. I'm sure it's all gonna come together. So let's blend this in. Okay, the coverage is medium, but you know I have dark spots on my chin because I be getting pimples, I be picking it, all this stuff. It's covering it, so that is really good. Okay, that is really good. Let's go to the forehead. All right, I took two pumps, but I have a lot left over on my hand. So now I know that one pump will really, will really do. And it really did spread. So there is that. Okay, I do see the mediumness of it. It's not like I see blemishes on my skin, but I do see the medium effect of it. Like full coverage foundation just looks different. And I know that just from, you know, being in the business for so long, but yeah. I'm into this. Okie, okie dokie. I got a new headband wig. It's a longer one, so it's getting my it's getting my way. But come on, come 
on. All right, so we're gonna go through the whole face and I'll speed that up so you can see. And then we're gonna talk through the final situation. So here we go. Alrighty, now we're at the part where we're going to set the highlighted areas. I used the Morphe Concealer in C4.35 and the Huda Beauty Lava Cake Stick Foundation. I'll link everything below as usual. Now we're going to use this. I hope that this is not going to be too crazy. <laughs> so let me fix up the under eye. Make sure there's no creasing. And also just go back here so that there's no harsh line. I'm going to leave the harsh line next to my nose. Okay, I'm doing this to avoid creasing, okay? Because <laughs> I have a crease right here. I want to avoid. Uh-oh. Let me get my forehead too. Just got to do it. Just have to do it. And then I like how this has a mirror because I need to use it. Okay, I'm gonna take my brush I usually use and just grabbing some of this. This brush is dirty, but whatever. Okay, looking down. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's not too much. It's like just enough. I was worried that it would be too light. But Tisha, you know what we need. She know what the girls need now. Come on. I need to do this side. Hold on a minute. Tisha. Like I'm not getting fallout from this, but I'm getting what I need. This is a great setting powder for beginners because loose setting powders, you really need to know what you're doing to navigate it. And there isn't a lot of fallout from this. So you really could build it up if you need to add more coverage as needed. This is really good. Good. Like I'm I'm needing to pick it up to get the lightness that I want. But to me, that's great if you're a beginner or if you're just like me, you don't want to really pile it on right away. I mean, I can finagle whichever, right? I used to work at Mac. I was a freelancer at Mac. I freelanced on my own. So I can finagle whatever it is, but I like how this isn't obnoxiously yellow. Ben and I banana powder used to be the joint back in the day, right? But that is really yellow. I mean, you, you gotta be very careful with that. But although this looks light kind of, like a hint of peachness kind of sort of, sort of thing from here. This is really good. Like I don't even feel like I need to put a powder on top of the highlight. Normally, depending on the product, my highlight is really light. So I do need to put a powder on top of the highlight just to really bring it all together. But right now I'm gonna take my cloud set from Kosas and I'm not even gonna go over the highlight too much because the color is, is perfect. It doesn't even need to be fixed. Mind you right now I'm getting ready to go to soccer practice, but you know what? <laughs> I need to to get this video in, you know what I'm saying? So this first impression's in. All right, this is Cloud Set Silky, okay? And I'm taking my big old complex culture brush and I don't feel like I need to go over the under eye too much except to make sure that there are no harsh lines. Fantastic. Wow, this looks good. No, this looks good. No, this looks good. Wow, come on, Tisha. Come on, girl. You know what we you know what we need. You know what we need. Now this is no limits matte bronzer in the color worthy. Deep. Wow, wait a minute. Are there motivational words on here? Ambition, worthy. Hold on a second. Did I miss that? This is confident. Wow. Is she a woman of gold? I mean, this is great. Worthy. I am worthy. Come on. This, now this this is dark. This is great and dark. So for my skin tone, I need to go a little bit easy on this. I wonder how much it's gonna pick up. Oh, this is deep. Ooh. You know what? I'm gonna use this as an eyeshadow. Wow, yeah, this is deep. Okay, this is deep in a good way, okay? So for me, I gotta go a little easy, you know? Because wow, wowzers, y'all. Oh yeah. <laughs> I feel like Nini, when he watches his shows, he learned it from these people. I don't know. He learned it from the, the online people. He watches his shows. He's like, oh yeah. Ah, ooh, ooh. It's like, can you stop? Can you watch TV and not make those noises? Like, what are you doing? Nini is our five-year-old boy. We love him so much. He was a blessing from Jesus. God gave him to us as a gift. Praise the Lord. Wow, this is really deep. You blend the harsh edges. This is like seriously deep. Okay, I'm gonna put this on my eyes as an eyeshadow as well. This is like amazing whoa and it's got like a purple hint to it this is fantastic okay all right let me do my brows and i'm gonna do my highlight and all that stuff i'll link everything below and then you're gonna see me use this as an eyeshadow so let's go All right. <laughs> 
Okay, and then the last thing from the brand that I picked up is this Higher Standard Satin Matte Cream Blush in the color Confident. I love it, I just love these names. There were two that I wasn't sure about, so I got this one and the, again, I'll leave the highlight information down below. I'm gonna use the back of my sponge, which does have product on it, but that's okay. And just pouncing this in, just giving me e.l.f. vibes. Ooh, can you see this? Maybe I should have gotten the other one. You can see it on the camera. It's not as long. Okay, no, the blush is not gonna work for me. No, no. The color isn't for me. It's too light. Yeah, this color is too light. I'm gonna stop right there and I'm gonna just put on my, what's that? Where she at, my old faithful that I've been using for the longest time these days. You might think it's beautiful. Comment below if you like this. I didn't put that much on it. It's very light and I don't like light blushes. It has to it has to vibe. It has to kind of be a little bit dark and then light on top, you get it. So I'm gonna use Always Spicy from e.l.f. Cosmetics. This one will be a little bit more, bit more pronounced. It kind of looks like that one a little bit. You know, you see, it's just a little bit more pronounced. The other one was just too light for me. Okay. It just looks a little strange because my face is looking very, <laughs> it's, my face is very hydrated. So the whole look is just different for me. Lashes are linked below as well. Let me put some bottom mascara on. You know, I use Superhero It Cosmetics on the bottom. This one's really old. And I find that the older it is, the more clumpy it is, the more it really just packs on the lash. Do you find that? Like when your eye mascara is old, there's been air coming in and out of it. It just is clumpy and it just works. Sometimes when the mascara is too brand new, it's too thin and it just doesn't thicken the lashes like I would want it to. Okay, so now there's all of that and then my lip. Just because it's right in front of me, we're gonna go with Old Faithful. It's been for the longest time now. The lip bar, Savage. Ooh, it's getting a little dark. Just get that to dry a lot faster. Let's go with Fenty up to no good. Here is my finished look. I think I look beautiful. I love how I look. I love how the skin looks. I do like the foundation. I'm gonna see how it goes through with the whole matte, the whole matte primer thing. I know that I'm still gonna be dewy because I just look shiny and in a healthy way. It's not a bad thing. I prefer matte and I know that a lot of you might not prefer what I prefer. And that's why I like to challenge myself and review these products that are not necessarily what I'm gonna reach for when I first go to the store and buy something. But my skin looks really good. I do like it a lot. It has neutralized out with everything on top in a really good way. I want you to comment below and let me know if you picked up any of these LYS beauty products. If we're the same shade match when you tried it out or are you gonna try it out, first of all? Do you like any of the other items? Do you like the, bl the blush? Do you Did you get the primer? I want us to talk about it below, okay? I'm glad you watched the video. Make sure you are subscribed and as always, I'm glad you're here and thank you for watching. Bye.